So let's check out a Fedora based Linux distro called Ultramarine Linux. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and a subscriber recommend I check out this distro. It's called Ultra Marine Linux and I really wanted to check it out. It's basically a Fedora based Linux distro designed to offer an easy to use stable and secure operating system for personal workstations as well as your battle station. And it aims to stay out of the way and provide a seamless experience, making it an excellent choice for both beginners and tech enthusiasts. So let's see if it stands out to that. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. All right, cool. So we are at ultramarine-linux.org. And of course, I always have the link down in the description of the video. But I'm super excited to check out Ultramarine Linux. And based on the information on the website, it comes with several pre-installed tweaks and features that make the initial setup and daily usage as smooth as possible. Also, it is designed to be 100% bug for bug compatible with Fedora, which allows users to enjoy the latest and greatest open source software while ensuring rock solid stability. And there's a lot of information on the website if you guys want to check it out, but this is where you would download it. I wanted to show you guys the download page, but they have a couple different versions that they uh, put out there for you guys. Uh, so their flagship is the budgie desktop environment it's recommended uh you definitely want to check this out that's what i'm gonna install today i'm gonna install using that uh flagship edition like i said it's that budgie desktop environment and i've looked at a couple of distros with the budgie desktop uh this one looks super cool as well so we'll definitely check this one out but you also have a gnome edition which is super dope as well as a pantheon edition and this is similar to elementary os if you guys haven't heard of that that's where that desktop comes from uh it's the default desktop for elementary os and i haven't looked at elementary in a long time i need to actually check it out again and see the improvements of elementary but that's an awesome distro as well for new users that are kind of just getting into linux and then also they have a kde plasma version so it says kde spin with a new custom layout inspired by Pop OS. So that's awesome right there to see. But you can download whichever one you want, you know, and get it up and going. They also have torrent, you know, downloads to have an ARM build. So if you want to put it on a Raspberry Pi or one of those other boards that are out there, you have that option as well. And if you want to check out one of the older versions, which I'm not sure why you would, um, but Ultramarine 36 is there. You can download that as well. Uh, but all of these are 37, the latest release, stable release, so to speak. But overall, it looks as though Ultramarine Linux is a excellent choice for people that are looking for something stable, easy to use, as well as a secure Linux distro. So let's hop over to my virtual machine so we can get this thing installed. Like I said, I wanna install that budgie version, which is the flagship version. Uh, but also before I go over there, I just want to show you guys, they do have an installation guide. It's not hard to follow. Uh, there's a script on there. You basically go through, install it that way, you know, following that script or whatever that'll pop up. And I'll show you guys all of that when we get in the virtual machine, which let's head over there now. All right, cool. So I'm booted into Ultramarine. Um, and as you can see, it's an awesome little desktop environment. Uh, this is Budgie. Like I said, super dope. There is an install script. Let's go through the install right fast. Uh, just show you guys how quick and easy it is to get it installed. It's just like installing Fedora. Uh, it's like three options pretty much in order to get it installed. So you select your language there. 
and if you need to search you can search but yeah uh the locale is automatically set to english so you may need to go in there and change it but like i said like three different or four different areas that you may want to look at so your yeah, installation destination is the hard drive so it's, it automatically select that drive for us all we got to do is hit done it'll go through check the storage configuration automatically partition the drive or automatic partitioning is selected so we get to go with that uh let's go down and create our account so boom let's go down and create something uh super strong you want to go down and put something in there that's pretty strong uh, but if you're just testing it out, you can put something in there, whatever it is. Uh, let's just hit done there. Boom. So that's done. And that's pretty much it. Unless you, unless you need to change your time and date zone, which mine is automatically selected. So I got Los Angeles there. Good to go. Yeah. As well as the networking and host name. If you want to set a host name, I'm not going to set a host name. I'm just let it set the default. But that's it for the install. So down here on the right behind my face. Uh, you should be able to see once I move it begin installation and that's all we got to do to get ultramarine installed let's go down here begin installation boom and I'll be back when it finishes all right cool so the installation is complete all you have to do is hit that finish installation that'll close out the installer uh, so let's go ahead and do that now and as you can see it'll take you back to the desktop environment and all we have to do is reboot from here and we should be good to go so i'll be back once it reboots and comes back up all right so the install is complete and just wanted to walk you guys through a little bit of the desktop environment uh if you've used budgie it's pretty much the same it's just fedora you know with budgie on top of it so uh just show you guys the updates so if you have to run updates let's go down press enter boom and all you gotta do is type sudo dnf and then the update and that'll update your system and i'm sure when you run it you'll see a whole bunch of updates i won't see any updates because i took time to just go down and update the system get it fully up to date but just so you guys know uh it was like a gig in updates that it had to download and install on the system so it's pretty behind as far as all on all the updates that you'll have to run and this is based on today which is may 8th 2023 and like I said, I had to do about a gig of updates, which is fairly big, you know what I'm saying, for, you know, updates on the system. Uh, now, I may see a few updates because I haven't updated it in uh, a little while, but looks like we don't have any, so we're good to go. But that'll go through, update your system. And like I said, one gig, you know what I'm saying, that's pretty big. And that's all dependent on your internet connection, you know, all that good stuff. Um, but let's go through and show you guys a, a couple of the applications in here. So this shows you all of them. You know what I'm saying? We can go through and kind of look at them a little bit. Archive manager, basically all the tools and any and everything you need. Like uh, if you got a webcam, cheese, you know, calendar, calculator, budget screenshot tool, uh, disk usage analyzer, uh, disk um let's see firefox is the default browser and the one that comes installed let's see what uh version it is uh let's go to help i believe and then about firefox and yes we have 112.02 so yeah fedora good to go um let's go back in here and look at a few more things but you got LibreOffice, which is awesome to see it uses like the um, gtk plus uh that's the greeter you can go in and configure it so that's the configurations for it. photos logs maps uh screenshot tool software and i wanted to tell you about that you can open up the software manager and super simple to use just like any other or just like any other linux distro with budgie desktop environment on it you got your software center we'll wait for that to to actually pop up while i show you guys a couple things more let's see uh maps p uh passwords and uh keys um so yeah let's check out the bus uh budgie desktop settings so you can go in here and manage your the style of appearance uh the desktop 
uh, it's a lot of options in here for you to actually modify the system uh, so let's go down and close that but like I said this is how you can install new software run updates you know all that good stuff uh, I know I showed you guys in the terminal but I also wanted to show you guys in the GUI as well you can run your updates from here as well so let's go down and close that out so that's pretty much it for uh ultramarine but i also wanted to show you guys the known version and i actually customized it i used uh someone's customization files for a gnome so let me bring that one up so i can show you guys that one all right so here's that known version of ultramarine and i was playing around with it and i customized it a whole lot um Think you guys might like this or might enjoy this but yeah as you can see uh fedora up here you know it's just basically customized uh you can get into all your apps all your programs uh actually let's open up these settings well that's something i forgot to open up on the other one uh but as you can see uh this is where you make all your other customization settings and one of the things i did was like the appearance uh change it to the dark theme also created this bar up here at the top uh using just some configuration files that i found i don't know it was super dope uh just going through and customizing this thing i need to do some videos showing you guys how to customize some uh desktop environments but this was an awesome one i did uh, i think i did this one a while back and like i said this is ultramarine and let's see let's check this out this is one thing i forgot to do uh it's the uname command on here yeah it should be uname dash a boom that shows the kernel so 6.2.14 and let's see if htop is on here i believe it is htop yeah boom uh i wonder if neo fetch is on here i doubt it but let's see uh i doubt it yeah it's not on here so we can install it so actually let's just install it right fast. So sudo dnf install uh, neofetch. I always like to look at neofetch whenever I'm pulling up a uh, system for the first time. Just, I mean, it'll give you basically all the information about the system. As far as the desktop environment, the themes that are being used, all kind of stuff, you know, that you can get from neofetch. And I know a lot of people like to just take a screenshot so you can see everything that's on there, at least pretty much everything on there as far as themes, the desktop environment, the shell, you know, all that from one location. And then you can install it and try to customize it the same way on your system. So let's type Y, enter. That'll go down and get it installed. And I'll be back when it finishes. I'm not sure why the system is running so slow. All right, cool. So that's done. Let's go down and run it. So Neo fetch, tab it out. Boom. There we go. So got all your information there. So go down and take a screenshot. That way you guys can check it out for yourself. Uh, it's known 43.4. And this is the theme right here. But definitely check that out, you know, if you want to. So there you have it. Ultra Marine Linux is a great choice, you know, for your personal workstations or possibly your battle station. Like I said earlier, you know, it offers the latest and greatest in open source software while maintaining that rock solid stability of Fedora. And so I think Ultra Marine Linux is a great choice for, for anyone. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And make sure you go down and hit that bell so you'll be notified for the next video when it drops. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And of course, keep it techy.